Hello, welcome back. It's Melissa coming today to you with a different video. So I discuss every week videos to do with online teaching, out school and other things. But I'm going to be discussing quitting my full-time brick and mortar job, uh, full-time in the school, for those of you that are in the UK, for teaching online without school. So if this video is for you, please do smash that like button because every uh, like really does help the algorithm and do subscribe. So I decided this year in 2020 of September to basically quit my brick and mortar position. I felt as though actually I was forced into this as opposed to quitting myself. In fact, my school even refused to pay me my last month's summer wage. I do have an underlying health condition and my doctor did believe that I would be more at risk in regards to going into a school environment with the pandemic. They are, as I speak, currently going down on another lockdown. So I believe that my choices were very valid and I don't regret them at all. So what has it been like teaching, say, on out school as opposed to teaching in a school and getting that regular income? Well, when you're self-employed, it's more of a hustle, so to speak. And of course, uh, the money that everyone was earning in the summer isn't necessarily the same now that we are in the fall. It has been a lot less. But what I have done in particular is I have mixed this with teaching off out school, being entrepreneurial and setting up my own tutoring business, which I have managed to find uh, pu pupils in order to tutor. So what I teach on out school is very different. I teach life skills on out school and that's what I taught before in schools overseas and in England as well, like the drama aspect and things. But in schools here in England, I was employed to teach in secondary schools, teaching English GCSE examinations, and also helping children with their English safer SATs, SATs, Key Stage 2, and private examinations. So that's what I am doing outside of out school. I tutor English uh, for the core exams and the core curriculum. And I find for me that works very well because on out school, there isn't that much of a demand for English UK curriculum. And it works very well for me because I'm teaching off out school and not necessarily having to share that particular cut without school. But then also at the same time, I've got the benefits of teaching on out school, teaching to a worldwide audience, which is primarily in the evenings. I do get some day classes, but it is an American audience and uh, Primarily, I do get some students from, say, Hong Kong and India and Pakistan in the early mornings, but the bulk of my earnings from out school come in the UK evening. So it's all working out nicely for me, and they handle the payment side of things. So that in itself is a headache that I don't necessarily have to worry about, like with my tutoring business, where I need to keep a record of things. But I would say overall, if you're thinking about leaving your teaching position to say teach online, maybe it's not for the same reasons as me, I would say I don't regret it. It feels I my stress levels have gone way down. I teach um, a lot less hours and primarily I'm earning the same amount of money, maybe a, a bit short, but definitely in the September, it matched it. And I was like, well, hang on a minute. I'm not doing those 50, 60, 70 hour weeks. I haven't got that stress of traveling. I work from my computer. All of a sudden I'm like, well, hang on, wow. My, my audience is a worldwide audience. Even with my tutoring, I'm tutoring children that live in the other part of the UK compared to where I'm living. Now, if I was tutoring face to face, I can only tutor who is in my vicinity. It's almost like comparing Amazon to your corner shop. The Amazon has a worldwide audience almost, and the corner shop, you've just got your area that's there. So for a lot of teachers thinking that going online, you're going to lose money, actually it's the opposite. And you can 
you can do group classes and you don't have to hire anyway you just have to worry about hiring say the platform of zoom or whatever platform that you're using but then there's google meets which is free and you do have to obviously create that content or change that adapts the content that you have got for online learning to make it more interactive all of those skills i learned over the summer it is time consuming admittedly i'd like lessons should just be there especially if you've been working in a brick and mortar school you will know that you have a lot of content that's in books or you've got the paperwork already there but when you're teaching online i found i've had to say purchase a book in order to teach that so that i've got the online equivalent as well as the hardback equivalent itself i've also in addition to that i've been looking at investing my own money into stocks and shares which i was doing for a long time anyway i've got videos on my other channel about that and i'm going to start putting some content on this channel for teachers as well that you might be looking at building say your pension or your 401k if it's as similar as a pension or if you're from australia your um superannuation because i worked in australia as well so i had superannuation there but with England, it's a bit different. They take the money out of your salary to put it into a pension. So you kind of get paid less anyway. So I've been making sure that I've got money put aside in stocks and shares. I've been investing in S&P 500 and some other ones through Vanguard, if you did want to know. And I've seen a healthy return on those. I've been doing that for a while anyway. So I would advise teachers that are thinking about doing this first off make sure you have a substantial amount of money set aside for any any situation i would say make sure that you have at least three months salary and um, put aside i've got expenses for you know to cover that at least and, and more but make sure you've got at least that if you need to leave any position make sure you don't just rely on one source of income i'm not just relying say on out of school i've got out school i've got stocks and shares i'm doing the tutoring i've got my youtube channel this one isn't monetized but my other one is um make sure you've got a few things to your bow before doing that and i that that's and make sure that you've got a plan as well so don't do what i did which was like literally i panicked and i thought i'd be back in the september i genuinely thought that this pandemic would be over by now because we've been teaching online and then all of a sudden it wasn't and things have progressively got worse and it's been it's, it's been upsetting having to leave the classroom and such because i did enjoy it but i also love teaching children online and seeing their faces when they see my content and they really enjoy my content oh wow you can't you can't buy that if you really truly enjoy teaching and you're a teacher by heart um, then all of those type of things do come to you nat naturally and you've got that passion you want to share. So if you did like this video and you want to keep updated with what's happening, with the tips and tricks that I'll be sharing with you, then as I say, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching.